well, I'm about to start another day's detecting. I'm uh, out in the bush. Uh, the Aussie bush, as you can see, it's very, very dry. We didn't have much of a monsoon this year. But uh, I'm at, uh, well, it's supposed to be a staging area for troops that uh, went up to the Pacific, Papua New Guinea, uh, Bougainville and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I found little evidence of that so far. I've just uh, found uh, an area that does have remains of buildings. But if it was a staging camp, there would be a lot more uh, activity around here because uh, basically 300,000 troops went through Townsville on their way to the Pacific and I found very little evidence of that. But anyway, I might find something. I got a 1943 half penny here last time I was here. So I might just go and see what I can score today. Wish me luck. See you later. Okay, I've just got a good target here. And if the camera stops shaking, you might be able to see where it is. Okay. It's off a sling. Off a 303 or Bren gun sling, I should think. But that was another good find there, and I've got a few more over here as well. So I'd better get into it. But yeah, that is a very, very nice find. Well, I got a good target here. It was 80 on the... Uh, scale for the uh, AT Pro and it didn't move from 80 so like I say I've got a good find here hopefully a coin but anyway see how I go Ooh, oh look at that strippance you beauty look at that little tiny strippance looks like a, a wheat strippance I'll come back in a minute and I'll let you know well, there you have it, George VI, 1941 Thrippens. Beautiful find. Anyway, on to the next target, and please wish me luck. If I got this one, I'd like to get a few more. I think I've got a good target here. It's steady, around about the 60 to 67 mark, and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so I've got it out of the... Okay, let's push this away. I've got it out of the hole. I'll get my pinpointer out and see if I can do better with that. Okay. Gotcha. Off the bullet. Go look at the size of that. That would have to be a 45, I reckon. And look, it's ah, oh, it's in immaculate condition. Now that's a really good find. I'm in this scrubby area here. Well, I'll just get this pro point to shut up. I'm in a heavily wooded area here, and basically I'm bending down and crawling under the trees and I've got the Chinese apple trees and they're the ones with the spikes on them and they dig into your flesh and they hold you up and they're quite painful then you've got the green ants fall out of the trees on your neck and burn you and but it's all worth it when you get targets like that it's a really really good find okay I'm going to keep going so wish me more luck well I'm not even a metre away from where I scored that 45 but uh, yeah I just pulled this beautiful buckle out of the ground as well so I might have to spend a bit of time here crawling under the trees on my hands and knees seeing if I can get some more good targets anyway back to it well I'm still within a meter of that 45 and I just pulled a nine millimeter out of the ground so I must be on a 25 meter range or it could be an old tent lines but these blokes dropped everything. I just hope they drop a few coins. I'm going to go in here next. Into there. Probably on my hands and knees. But the targets are worthwhile anyway. I'm getting back into it. Okay, so this is the, the dump that they used when they had the camp here. It's quite extensive. You now you can find... You even find buckles lying on the ground. So I'm going to uh, just walk around and see what I can find. 
Well, these are the finds from my uh, four hour detecting trip out at uh, the old uh, army camp. I visited the old dump there again and I managed to recover a couple of items just to clean up and put on display here. I like these bottles because they've been opalized. I use a lot like opal, but uh, otherwise they're just really, that might have been a fragrance bottle of some sort. And then we've got an, an ink, and then we've got a like a salt and pepper shaker without the top. There was a, a few things scattered around in the, uh, the old dump that I picked up. A few of these. I detected a couple as well. But I did find the, the 9 mil here and the 45. Now I haven't... I don't know what calibre this one is yet. So it's unknown to me. So if anyone knows, please let drop me a line. Anyway, a few other, another bottle, a big uh, draft horse, horseshoe, and then uh, another horseshoe. And you can see that the old fellas there, when they were a bit, had nothing to do, they were uh, cutting glass into containers, like maybe just to drink out of when they're in the mess having lunch, but we'll tell you what, but you see, yeah, they've uh, been cutting them and making the bottoms out of drinking in the drinking glasses that's not too bad eh well I'm going to clean all these and I'll show you them again after I've given them a bit of a tub and until then I'll see you later well I've put most of the buckles and uh, just the stuff like that into the tumbler and I'll start that and uh, we'll see how they come out anyway I've got to do a bit more cleaning I'll see you later I've cleaned most of the finds that I recovered from the army site the other day. Here you got the two different size mugs again. That's the, the smaller type, I think that was half a pint. And this one might be somewhere going up to a bit over half a pint again. But if you look closely you could, you could possibly see the D, there's the arrow and the D again. But I've seen these, uh, these mugs in various sizes over the years that I've recovered, recovered them from dumps. The uh, three forks and a spoon, okay, what I'm going to do is a bit more soaking and then I've got a soft wire brush here I'm going to use just to get that rubbish off it and bring them up to a nice little colour. I gave the uh, these bottles that I recovered, I gave them a good clean on the inside and I just left the outside as it was because you can see the opalisation and that can only happen when the, when the object's been immersed in uh, earth for a long, longer time. Anyway, just going on to these three bullets that I recovered. The centre bullet is a 9mm and the one on the right is a 45. Now this one here, when I first saw it, I thought it was a 5.56. But then again it couldn't have been because it was on the same depth as the other two bullets and they're all within the metre of each other. Then I realised that it may have actually be a Japanese, a Japanese projectile. So what I did, I came and had a look at uh, my uh, reference books when I, on, when I arrived home. And in the Type uh, 38 uh, weapon, a rifle that the Japanese had, the, the cartridge was a 6.5 inch. And uh, later on they, they uh, used a 7.7. .7. But that was a nice find. It's a shame it broke off the cartridge itself, but they're very... Uh, fragile after a few years. Anyway, I got some other finds here. I didn't bother cleaning these because I like putting them up as they are in the, uh, you know, off the rafts above my head. But anyway, I had a good trip. Well, a few good trips actually. And I'll be going out again, hopefully the day after tomorrow. Anyway, till the next find, I'll see you later.